The systematic study of nature makes modern life possible. However, few know about how science is practiced. In schools, the scientific method is taught because it is simple, clean, and sequential. Real science is messy, less certain, and much more social than people realize. At Freedom, science is practiced authentically. Professional scientists go through the myriad of problems of collecting data, analyzing data, and all the problems that arise. They're resilient, they keep going. What we're all trying to do is unlock nature's secrets, and she certainly doesn't want to give those away too easily. So it is the continuation of picking yourself up and, and going forward uh, is really what we're trying to teach our students here at Freedom. Most of what schools teach about science is content, rarely showing the genesis of where or how it came about. It is an anomaly that students participated in anything close to real scientific work. Why do you think it's important for students to experience the failures of experiments? We don't actually need our students to become scientists, but understanding uh, the process of science and the genesis of knowledge, I think that'll help everyone understand and support science. Uh, if not, we tend to end up having uh, students that are kind of like our average citizen where they don't know what to believe in science, they think science is easy, they think it's truth, and it's really neither of those. It's just hard work and trying your best to get an answer. I took physics one last year. For my long term, I tested to see how the temperature of ice would affect how far a hockey puck would travel. When I started, it seemed really hard and I thought it would get easier, but with each test, I realized there were more errors and more mistakes and it really sucked and it took me forever to get through but once I finished I realized that I had a lot more potential and I did really good. The long term was probably the hardest thing I've done. You have to work all year and anytime you make a mistake you have to go back and fix it but it's good because before the science conference Dr. Wargo and the whole physics class kind of works with you to fix all your mistakes, go over it. So you're actually learning throughout the year as well instead of just memorizing things like most other classes. So I would say that the long term and the science conference were probably the most beneficial things that I've done in school so far. Most schools are tied to the textbook and they're trying to um, judge their students on coverage. We're not about that. We're about authentic scientific practice. We teach a few things, we teach them very well, and we're going for true understanding. And so we have time to digest those pieces that we do end up looking into. At Freedom Area High School, we celebrate authentic scientific work. To find out more, visit Science Conference at High School Online at www.sciconhs.org.